You want to start a Minecraft server and start playing with your friends. Now, the first thing you're going to need is to get the server.jar file. You can find a link in the description down below. It's going to take you here. This is our in depth text guide where you can click this download Minecraft button here to go to the official Minecraft download page. Now, on this page, we want to click the Minecraft underscore server 1.21.11 link here. That's because this is for Minecraft 1.21.11, the version that just came out. When you click on that, the download will begin. Now, you will need to keep or save it, but this is Minecraft's official website. Now, I do want to mention, though, the server we're starting in this video is on your own computer. It's hosted on your computer. That means you're going to need a pretty good computer in order to host this server and play Minecraft at the same time. On top of that, it's also hosted on your own internet connection, meaning anyone who joins the server gets your IP address and can do things like figure out where you lived under your latitude and longitude coordinates, as well as DDoS you, which is basically like hit your internet offline. So with that being said, what do you do if you don't have to worry about any of that? Well, that's where our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. You can check it out at the first link down below and start your very own Minecraft server well, not only can you start a vanilla server, but you can even customize it any way that you want with one-click mod pack installation, easy plug in installation, and you can add any individual or specific mods that you want as well. It is completely up to you. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way, so don't struggle to host a Minecraft server. Start your server the simple way at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple. Now, with our server file downloaded, how do we make this server on our own computer, though? Well, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and then what we want to do is open up our downloads folder. And here we have this server.jar. Go ahead and right click and create a new folder. You can name this anything, but I'm going to name it Minecraft 1.21.11 server. And then you want to move this server.jar file into it. I would recommend moving this folder to your desktop just so it's easier to access because you will be accessing it quite a bit. Then double click this server.jar and it should attempt to start. If it doesn't, it's because you need to get Java. Not Minecraft Java, but Java the program, which is linked down below. This is specifically our in-depth guide on getting Java, but the gist of it is come here, click download, and then you want to download the Windows X64 installer with this link. Once that's installed, you may also need to run the jar fix. This is as simple as downloading and running this little program. This is going to take all the jar files like the server.jar and link them back to Java, making them work together. Nonetheless, we can now go ahead and, as you can see, double click the server.jar to get these files and folders. And we want to open up this eula.txt. Assuming you agree to the Minecraft EULA here, we can go eula equals false and change this to eula equals true, T-R-U-E, exactly like that. Click File, Save, and now when you double click the server.jar, your Minecraft server is going to start. Now, at this point, you're the only person who can join this server, but I do recommend going ahead and joining it just to make sure things work as they should and that you can get online. Because if you're lagging with just you on the server, it's definitely going to be lagging with your friends on the server. So I'll see you in Minecraft to join our newly started Minecraft server. So here we are in game. We've got Minecraft open and our server online. We can go to multiplayer. Now I'm going to go ahead and add this server as local connection, which that's just just because it's a local connection that only you can use. If your friends try to join using this IP, it just won't work. Now we can go ahead and put the server address or the IP address as local host, all one word exactly like that. Click done, your server will resolve and you can double click to join. Now we can get online here, run around, make sure things are working. If they are, you can then go ahead and move on to allowing your friends onto this server. As you can see, not really too much lag. It would be even better if I wasn't recording. So I think I'm good. I can go ahead and port forward. And unfortunately, you do need to port forward in order for your friends to join. We have an in-depth guide linked down below that walks through every single step of port forwarding for a Minecraft server from start to finish. Making sure you get the correct port forwarded and get your friends online using your public ID. IP. It's all outlined in video and in-depth text form here, so check it out in the description down below to get your friends online. With that being said, if you run into any issues with your server, let us know in the comments and check out this video, also linked down below. It's a complete guide where I just troubleshoot Minecraft server issues for about 30 minutes. It's actually about 20 minutes. For 20 minutes of me fixing Minecraft server issues, that way when your server inevitably has one, you have a resource and you've kind of seen like, oh yeah, that one video I watched a while back fix that. With that being said, you now have a Minecraft server that is up and running. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. And be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. And we'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.